Hey there, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, whichever. Hello, hello, and hello. Welcome back to Divine Conversations. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. It is wonderful, 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 wonderful to meet you, to be here with you, and to be, uh, it, it, is a, it is a great privilege for me to be able to be here to be a channel for you at this moment. Um, so thank you for tuning in. Um, and I wanna also say congratulations for being here, for finding your way towards this message. If you have found yourself on this, clicking on this video, whether you're new to the channel or not, then it is my intention to work with God Source Creator to bring you the message that God, source, creator, spirit, the divine, your angels, your guides, your higher self, your ancestors, your way showers, those who wish to aid you in your physical life. It is my intention to bring forward the message that they have for you at this time. What spirit, God, source, creator needs you to hear right now, okay? This is a timeless reading. Please take, uh, it's also a general reading, yes? but. Um, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, but it's also a timeless reading. Um, in, at first, I was thinking maybe I should do this round of readings, uh, this setup um, as a mid-month check-in, but really, Spirit, God is kind of guiding me to just allow this to be timeless, okay? So this doesn't have to resonate for you at any specific moment in your life. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you at that time. Yeah, but also keep in mind, guys, it's, it's, this is a general reading and I am pulling on the collective energies of the earth signs, okay? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So um, this is going to be a fairly unique spread. Um, I'm using two new decks that have been donated to the channel. Um, if you've been watching, like especially if you watch our daily live stream here on Divine Conversations, uh, the SIP, you have been experiencing these uh, cards, these decks, because I've been using them and I love them. They're beautiful. I mean, as you can see, just on the images and the cards right there. But we are going to be using the uh, Soul Seeds Oracle here, which is this beautiful deck right here on, on the farthest left. And we're also going to be using the Sister deck here to that first deck, which is the Soul Trees uh, Ascension deck, which is the deck in the center. Um, and these are Oracle decks. They are meant to be used intuitively. There isn't too much um, literature in terms of definement. You're really just meant to be taking the keywords that are on the cards and the imagery and pulling through the messages that your intuition interprets. And that's my intention here to get you the message that spirit, God source creator, your way showers, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your angels, whatnot, whatever, to provide you with the message that they have for you at this time. And then of course, I'm gonna dive into the tarot to get some further definition, some further guidance. This is the Crystal Visions Tarot deck for those of you that are interested, yeah? <sighs> All right, guys, so let's dive into this. So for my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or no Earth node. What messages do you have for my Earth signs, please, Spirit? What messages do you have for the Earth signs at this time, Spirit? What do you, what is the, what is the most pressing thing that you need Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn to hear at this time? Okay, uh, Earth Signs. First thing that I'm hearing is uh, unconditional love, divine love from this creator, from God source creator is pouring down onto you at this time. You may be going through a really difficult period. Um, what I'm picking up for the Earth Signs is, um, right now is a conscious awareness of the reconstitution of your, uh, okay, what I'm hearing is your spiritual existence but that is translating deeply into your physical reality. So uh, what I feel like is going on here for the earth signs right now, or at least for this message right now, what spirit wants to talk about for you is the fact that you are going through some sort of, I'm hearing financial difficulties, financial disputes or just physical disputes in your waking life. There is some sort of drama that's happening that's unfolding for you right now. I'm, I'm feeling like there's some sort of shake up in your physical existence. And 
with you being an earth sign, regardless as to the placement here, but with for whatever placement this reading or this message would resonate for, um, it is an earth oriented energy, a physically oriented energy. And there is some sort of upheaval that is happening. I'm also hearing earth signs that there is some sort of misconception here. Now, at first, I was feeling like there's some sort of um, upheaval, something, some sort of discontent or something happening within your physical space. But what spirit is saying about this is that it is coming from a change in energetic awareness and or energetic alignment, most likely both. You know, your awareness is changing energetically, spiritually, whatnot, which is um, directly related to just a shift in your spiritual reality or your energetic reality. But then ultimately that is going to be or is following through or translating into something physical in your life. And there is some sort of energetic misconception here. I'm not really getting anything else on that misconception specifically. Obviously, the cards that are the, the following reading will help to define that for you. But there is a misconception here. Um, and it's translating into a fault, some sort of faulty aspect in your physical reality. For some of you, actually, what I'm getting is that it's finally translating into some sort of faultiness in your physical reality, or at least maybe earth signs, you are starting to become aware of some, some sort of misconception about yourself and maybe about the nature of reality that you have been plagued with for a long time. And now that that awareness is starting to rise up within you, it is starting to allow you to, I guess, perceive of the faulty nature of the physical reality surrounding this misconception. And I guess the, the, at its very core, this misconception can be defined as a misconception of who you truly are and what it is you are truly capable of, which has, which is currently, but ultimately in reality really has been translating into some sort of faulty atmosphere or faulty reality in your physical. But the thing about it is earth science is that it has always been there and it always has always contributed to some sort of faultiness within physical reality or within the nature of your physical existence and physical experience. But now that your awareness is starting to pick up on it, you are actually starting to realize what this faultiness is and realize how it is has been affecting your reality. And actually, I'm feeling like you are able to experience the reality of this faultiness much more acutely. Now, this is where the problem lies, Earth Signs. At least this is what I'm picking up on for you. Yes, we're going to get into the cards, but I just want to flow through this message as it comes through right now, and then we'll get into the cards. This is where it's translating into the real problem for you at this moment, Earth Signs, because this is how the nature of your physical reality has been affected, but this is also how your nature, the nature of your physical reality is changing. And it's causing a level of uncertainty, whereas you may have been, you may have been solid for better or for worse. Uh, whether it was bad or good, I don't know, but that, and that's really not for me to define. Take it as it resonates for you. But, um, your awareness of this now is allowing you to experience it more acutely, which is then translating into some sort of upheaval, some sort of feelings of lack of stability, lack of permanence, permanence, excuse me, lack of feeling of feel, lack of feelings of ability to do, to create, to expand, to grow. Your awareness of it is causing you to experience it that much more acutely. And as a result, you feel like things are crumbling, you feel like things are falling apart, and they may very well be falling apart, but ultimately they are falling. I heard a union energy is coming through here. So they are falling apart in order for them to sufficiently or subsequently be rebuilt after the crumble or after the, after the pieces fall apart, okay? I understand this is scary at this moment, Earth Signs. 
This is definitely, I mean, your stability is your stability, a sense of stability, earth signs, is very important to you. And yes, that's necessary. But what is also necessary is the current reality or what has always been. It is necessary for that to fall away so that a new sense, a new expression can be cultivated. So understand that I understand that this is scary right now. Earth signs. I, I wanted to say Taurus especially. Okay, that makes sense. You're the fixed element. But ultimately, I know this is scary, but it is meant to be experienced. And you will, you are safe throughout this process. You need to understand that because that is the biggest thing that is causing or generating a lot of fear for you right now is a, fe a, a wondering or inability to, to really perceive of how safe you really are in terms of all of this, in the midst of all of this, okay? Whew. All right, let's get into these cards then. 11-11, <laughs> awesome. I was just looking to see how long that was, and of course I looked right around 11-11, 11 minutes in. All right, let's get into this. The, uh, okay, um, Earth Science, the nature of your reality uh, is under construction. Let me pause because I want to write that down. Okay, so that, that just turned out to be a long-winded roundabout way for me to get to the bottom of this message for you. And that message is the nature of your reality is under reconstruction. And this is what spirit, God, source, creator, your way showers, your ancestors, your spirit guides and all that. This is what they want you to know about um, this situation right now. Okay, so uh, one card just came, just made itself known. Um, I want to take it. Um, and it's weave. It's weave. And it, and it is the image of a spider and a web. Some of you have been experiencing um, spider symbolism lately. If you have been so, okay, all right, this is very important. This is the main message for you right now, Taurus. If you have been, um, well, well, okay, yes, for some of you here, for whomever this resonates for, if you have been experiencing a lot of spider symbolism, seeing cobwebs everywhere, seeing spiders all over the place, um, I feel like there has been a heavily, heavy influx of spider symbolism. And the message that I am, or the interpretation, the understanding that I'm getting for you right now at this time, Earth Signs, I don't know why I want to say Taurus specifically, but take it as it resonates, is that this has been helping, this has been, um, this symbolism, this spider symbolism, and especially the web that spiders weave, spirit is trying to bring you bring you your conscious awareness and attention towards the webs that you have woven over the course of your experience whether this is your lifetime or whether this is just a specific experience there is also for some of us for some of you here there is also a lesson of understanding how we are all intertwined how we all we all weave our own specific webs of our lives, but that web is not just our own because while we are weaving our own specific webs, collectively we are also weaving a web together. And part of this message here, uh, part of this understanding that Spirit Want is helping you come to at this time that is in fact changing the nature of your reality is recognizing how our circumstances or the choices that we make in terms of what it is that we weave in our lives also has a direct effect on others. So your lesson right now or what you're experiencing right now could be showing you how you have web woven your own situation, but it also kind of is helping you to understand and come to terms with how other people's choices have helped to influence your web that you have woven. There is a very important message here, or at least a lesson that you are going through, which is an understanding of how we are all intertwined and connected and how our experiences resonate with and affect 
others as well. There is some of us maybe dealing with levels of selfishness, whether that selfishness was coming from you or whether, uh, or whether that selfishness was coming from others. Um, and that all of and, and, and an understanding of how all of this is intertwined, how we are all catalysts for each other in certain cases, whether that be good or bad, for better or for worse, okay? All right, what else is going on? What other messages do you have for my earth science at this time, please, spirit? We have sage. I'm going to leave this spider web here. You have sage and we have... Ooh, free, but free has come out in reverse. Um, there is a very strong teaching opportunity for you earth signs at this time. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, weave, sage, and then you have free in reverse, doorways in reverse, and lessons in reverse. Um, interesting how those cards came out here in reverse. Um, I'm going to take them in that way, uh, but okay, I'm going to I'm going to turn them upright so that we can really see them. But I am going to take into account the fact that these cards did come out in reverse. So uh, what you're experiencing right now. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, are the stark, there's something about a stark realization of the web that we have woven for ourselves over the course of our lifetimes, which has led us to find, or has led you, excuse me, I should say, has led you to find yourself where you currently are. And there's something very important here an awareness of not only how your web, the web of your life affects you, but also how it affects others. And I feel very specifically for many of you here, there is a direct correlation to how you have been treated or how you have been influenced by others around you that has ultimately ended up resulting in you weaving a certain web that you find yourself resting on at this moment. Okay, weave. And then you have sage. Now, sage can represent um, cleansing, clearing, healing, as if you were to burn sage to, to, to clean, cleanse things out, uh, cleanse the energies of a certain area. But what I'm also getting with sage is the sage wisdom that you have developed and the ability now that you have to go and teach from what it is you are learning or have learned in this situation. Now, you have free doorways and lessons. This all came out in reverse. There is a lesson here that I feel like you are in the process of learning or that you are coming to terms with that reflects a lack of freedom that you may have experienced in your life up until this moment and how certain and as how, or I'm sorry, and how a direct result of the web that has been woven Ultimately, how you have a web that you have wo woven over the course of your life or over the course of this situation, take it as it resonates, how that may have closed or opened certain doorways for you. But that's because of a perception of a lack of freedom. Some of you may feel like you have been, doorways have been woven shut for you how you have been lacking in freedom, which has ultimately closed certain doors for you. But ultimately, this boils down, earth signs, this boils down to a lack of freedom within the self that you have perceived. But ultimately, no one has really actively woven this web for you. This is a really double-edged situation, Earth Signs, and I'm trying to be as delicate with it um, in the interpretation process. And I really hope you're able to follow what's going on here, but I'm really just trying to follow this stream of consciousness. Ultimately, Earth Signs, you have woven your own web. 
But I will say, yes, you do need to take responsibility for that. But there's also a level of greater responsibility, how we are also responsible for the ways that we interact with and influence the people around us that helps them to weave the web that they experience as well. Uh, we're all interconnected here, okay? Um, please bear with me. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm, <laughs> I'm channeling this correctly. We're all inter interconnected. And there is an understanding of that. And I'm what I just heard from many, for some here is that this is helping you change your ways in how you treat people, in how you interact with people, in how you influence people. It's making, it's helping you be to become very consciously aware through your experience of lack of freedom and doorways having been closed for you or you feeling like door doorways have been slammed shut for you or you were never really given the opportunity to allow yourself to develop in the ways that allowed those doorways to open. That's helping you to, to, to learn the lessons of how we are all interconnected and how our choices can help to um, influence the people around us, whether that's to, for better or for worse. And what I'm feeling very specifically well, I, and I want to say Taurus specifically, but what I'm feeling for the earth signs and this lesson here is you are gaining this a level of wisdom by rep, uh, understanding how others have treated you and influenced you. And that's caused you to create a certain web of existence as a result. Okay, let's continue. Let's move to our second deck. So we started with the Soul Seeds Oracle deck and now we're gonna do work with the Soul Trees Ascension deck, yeah? Okay, <clears throat> further messages for my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, please spirit. What messages, further messages do you have for the earth signs at this time? What is it that you want the earth signs to know or be aware of at this time? I guess specifically, how can we find a resolution here, please, Spirit? Oh, uh, finally, you do have Beacon at the bottom of the deck. And what I'm feeling here for you, Earth Signs, I keep wanting to say Taurus, but Earth Signs. Um, this is ultimately helping you to become a beacon of light for others. And what I'm hearing in that, Earth Signs, is changing your ways somehow to reflect the lessons that you are learning here which is ultimately going to allow doorways to open for you. Understand that you are free, okay? And part of what you dealt with, or part of what this weave or this web weaving energy is, you didn't feel like you were free. You experienced a lack of freedom. But in your awareness at this time, in you opening up to and accepting this lesson at this time, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you are in fact regaining your freedom because now that you have, you're gaining this level of awareness and now that you can sage and cleanse the energy, you are ultimately becoming a sage, you are becoming a beacon and you can reweave this web in new and better ways that ultimately opens the doorways for you. One of the biggest doorways that, were that was shut for you, Earth Signs, is your lack of belief that you are in fact free. And regardless as to whatever circumstances you are experiencing in the external, you can choose how you weave your web moving forward. You can choose how you respond. You can make a better choice or a proper choice or a choice that is more in alignment with what it is you actually want in the face of opposition. And some of this could actually be very much a lesson from childhood, 
where we didn't have that much of a choice. We didn't see it the way we see things now. But now that you see that you are able to see this in a different way, your vision really could be saged and or cleansed. That is providing you with a greater level of freedom, which is ultimately going to be end opening end up, which is going to end up opening doorways for you because of the lesson that you were able to learn and integrate at this time, which ultimately makes you a beacon of light for others to see and to gain a level of understanding of freedom from. One last shuffle here. Many of you are dealing with feelings of victimhood, victim mentality, okay? And if a lot of this stuff from childhood or a lot of this stuff is from childhood, okay, there is a certain level of vulnerability at that moment or yeah, in that moment of our lives or at that time as humans, because we are heavily dependent on what we learn from our parents and the world around us. But it doesn't always have to be this way. You can reclaim your independence here. And that's what seems to you to be the path you are on at this time. What other messages do you have for the earth signs, please, spirit? Okay. First card you have next is vibration. It did come out in reverse for the earth signs, please. But then you have breakthrough, and overthinking. Anything else for the earth signs? Okay, that's enough right there. And then you have opportunity. Okay. So, yes. And then finally, you have oh, overall energy at the bottom of this deck is illumination. And that is helping to, uh, res that definitely resonates with this beacon energy that's at the bottom of the first deck. Through this illumination of your reality, earth signs, you can generate more light and then ultimately become a beacon. And maybe that beacon isn't necessarily meant to be for other people. Maybe you are being that beacon of encouragement and light for yourself. Okay, but Earth Signs, your first card here in the next level of this reading, of this message, is vibration. And vibration did come out in reverse. I will turn it upright so that we can see it, but I do want to take note of the fact that it came out in reverse. And the first thing that I want to say about this earth signs is that your vibration has been off. And in some cases I'm hearing entirely, has been entirely out of whack. And that has resulted in you weaving a web of, in some cases what I am hearing is lack of authenticity, or at least you find yourself in a place that really is not the best expression of who you authentically are. Now that is, I mean, this is, this is a tricky situation. A lot of that is a direct result of the web that other people have woven that has surrounding you that has had an effect on you. Okay. But this is where your breakthrough comes in. And that breakthrough seems to be surrounding the fact Generally speaking, of course, but this is a general reading, there has been a level of overthinking involved. Maybe an over a level of um, a desire for perfection that has been influenced by the perception of others around you. And instead of just being who you naturally are, doing what it is you naturally love to do, expressing yourself in a natural way, you have found yourself weaving a web through the efforts of overthinking. But herein lies your opportunity now because your awareness is key to breaking this cycle, to stop overthinking for you to then have a breakthrough, an epiphany, which will help you clean up your vibration or change your vibration or get into a greater understanding of who it is you truly are and what it is you truly, the, 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 the vibration that you truly resonate at. Okay, let's move to the tarot then. Okay, what, what further message or guidance can you, do you have for earth signs at this time, please? Spirit, God, source, creator, thank you so much for this, this guidance. What further guidance do you have for earth signs at this time, please? One last shuffle.
Okay. What further guidance do you have? What can earth signs do to take advantage of this moment? Ace of Swords, the truth. The truth. This may be hard to accept, but part of this truth here, or part of accepting this truth here, also is taking into account how you have responded to these circumstances and situations and understanding how that has been a detriment to you. Now, this is not meant to shame you, okay? This is not meant to be a ha-ha, told you so, blah, blah, blah type of situation. Spirit did not put you here, or you could say your higher self did not put you here to learn these lessons to degrade you or to um, um, disrespect you or anything like that. You have experienced this just so that you can understand the contrast so that you now can come out of that awareness stronger or come through with an awareness that allows you to be a much stronger in your resolution, in your constitution, which is allowing you to then weave a much better web for yourself. You are not meant to suffer in this way just to break you down. Spirit does not do that. That was not the point here. It, it was not, to, it, it, you are not put in this position to prove you wrong in any sort of way. That's not really the intention here. The intention was for you to experience a level of contrast that in many ways, I feel like some of you are defining as having been at the mercy of others around you, which has ultimately influenced you to weave a certain web that does not make you happy and does not fulfill you and leaves you feeling drained and depleted and lack, uh, lacking in authenticity. But you were meant to experience that so you can develop a strength of a stronger element of strength of character so that those situations in the future won't have the same effect on you. Okay, this was not meant to, to offend you. This was not meant to humiliate you or degrade you in any way. It was meant to show, to teach you through contrast. And with that contrast, having experienced that contrast, your breakthrough is the truth, is the awareness that you gain. Your opportunity is the ace of swords here, the truth of awareness that allows you to cut away the web that you no longer, that no longer serves you so that you can in fact, from this moment on, weave, consciously weave a much better one. But this is not just weaving a better web for yourself. It's also weaving a better web for that is in, that is better, um, that better influences others around you. Okay, this is not just about yourself. This is also about how we affect the others around us by the weaves that the by the webs that we weave and by the judgments, I kind of want to say, that we place on others that influences them to weave a web of lacking in authenticity. Potentially, okay? Any other guidance you have for the earth signs at this time, priest spirit? Three more cards here. You have the knight of wands, the six of wands, and the eight of pentacles. Okay, anything else? Two more, please. The seven of swords. Last card for my earth signs. Any guidance here? Eight of wands, five of pentacles. Overall energy is the king of swords. Okay, objectivity. Judgment call, okay, but it's a judgment call made through objectivity. Seeing clearly the past and present in relation to the future. The future being what it is you wish to create or are you're inspired to create from here on out. Um, I am getting a level, a strong level of um, inspiration. The truth that you are gaining in this experience right now, Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, is going to be, or maybe already is, leading to a level of inspiration. Inspiration to move forward in a very victorious way. You have the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Okay? 
And that is in a direct relation to the fact of how maybe the things that you've been working towards or what Spirit is saying here with this Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles would repre represent the, weave, the web that we weave. There has been deception here. Something that you've been working towards or something that you've been consistent with is deceptive or has been deceptive in nature or how it is how it is you've been working towards things has been deceptive in nature. And then to that you have the eight of wands to the five of pentacles. But I feel like the eight of wands and the five of pentacles represents you going from um, lack mentality to an open awareness. But also I feel like this represents how you've been moving forward. You've been moving forward from a level of lack mentality, of feeling left out in the cold, of feeling not feeling good enough, not feeling talented enough, having been judged and ridiculed, and just feeling left out. But what I want to say is I feel like that is changing. What I heard is that is changing. Uh, ultimately, it feels like you're going from the five of pentacles feeling cordoned off, feeling lack mentality, and ultimately going into the Eight of Wands. I want to say that seasons are changing for you right here, right now. It may not look like it on the surface, but the seasons are changing for you. However it feels you may have been held back in the past, you're going, that has been lack mentality, which has ultimately helped you to weave the web that you currently find yourself standing on, the place that you call home at this moment. You're changing that and because what i'm hearing is because it's a, it's you were in this five of pentacles energies because of a lack of self-awareness your awareness is key so through an objective point of view here king of swords you are gaining the wisdom the knowledge the understanding the truth the ace of swords to help you change the web that you weave from here on out, okay? I wanna get greater clarity on this Five of Pentacles and Eight of Wands energy. What do you, can you give us more about what you mean? Three of Swords. This is, I'm, I'm kind of resisting, I've been resisting this part of the message because it doesn't quite make sense. Because the Eight of Wands, Logically, it doesn't make sense to me because the Eight of Wands represents clear and open opportunity, lacking in restriction, which is a good thing. But what really what I'm getting from this Eight of Wands energy is this has been your direction forward. This is how, been, how you've been moving forward. You have been moving forward in a lack mentality point of view. That's what you've been creating from Eight of Wands. I'm sorry, Eight of Pentacles. And that's been deceptive. Seven of Swords because you're not lacking. You are good enough. You are strong enough. You are talented enough. Okay. And you've been moving forward in this way from a lack mentality point of view because you've been hurt. Three of pentacles. You've been stabbed in the back. You've been betrayed. Your heart has been broken. It's been ripped out of your chest and trampled on by people around you who just didn't seem to give a damn. Just didn't seem to give a damn. Couldn't see past their own desires and wants and wishes. But then right that right there, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, takes us back to the web that we weave. And it's not just about the web we personally weave and how that affects our lives, but it also is an effect on how it has an effect on the others around us because we are all inter interconnected. Not, no one of us exists in a vacuum. Yeah, this has been very, very painful for you, Earth Signs. I understand that. But what is the most painful right now is the awareness of how your foundation or the web that you find yourself on at this moment is lacking in stability and it feels quite daunting to try and reshape that yeah i know some of you in this energy wish you could go back in time and like start over or redo your childhood but you're you're desiring that because you want to have the aware the wisdom that you have now to, re to go back in the past and change things. 
but it is exactly that past that you experienced that has brought you to this level of awareness now. So no, you, I mean, you can't go back. Obviously we can't go back in time, but going back in time wouldn't serve you because it's that exact experience that has brought you to the awareness that you are gaining at this moment. And recognize that now that you have this awareness, earth science, at this moment, you can do something to change a bit, to change it. You can do something about it to reweave this web for yourself. Okay, I'm going to reshuffle this. And then I just want to get Spirit's closing message for you at this time, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Yes? Last shuffle. Closing message for my earth signs, please, Spirit, for our earth signs, for your, excuse me, I'm saying that, I'm saying that incorrectly. Closing message for your earth signs, please, God, Source, Creator. Eight of Swords, there you go, is your overall energy here so far. My attention is being brought to this, but earth signs, this is the mental entrapment that you are breaking free from. And the first step of breaking free from this mental entrapment, earth signs, is to be aware that you're trapped or you're in this confinement to begin with. Okay. All right. Closing messages for your earth signs, please, God, source, creator. How do you want to close this reading for your earth signs? Nine of wands. You've been trying very hard. You've really been trying. Ooh, I might start crying. Um, you've been trying very hard. You have been, please excuse me, because um, <laughs> I'm trying to keep it together at this point. Uh, you have been trying to fly on broken wings. And I feel for you. I am very sorry that this had to happen, but this is not happening because you are incapable in any sort of way. It's actually happening because you are very, very capable of handling this. Um, but you have been flying with broken wings. We're trying to fly at least. You've been trying to walk with a broken leg. You have been trying to create, you have been trying to shape with broken hands and fingers. You've really been trying. What closing messages do you have for your earth signs, please, God's source creator? Four of swords reversed, the moon reversed. The lovers and the 10 of cups. Uh, let's get one last card to even this out then. And the seven of cups. Overall energy is the world. Okay. Four of swords is reversed and the moon is reversed. The reason why you have been struggling and trying so hard, nine of wands, in this way is because you have been caught up in an illusion. What's going to clear up the illusion and the confusion for you, Earth Signs, is choosing to believe in the fact that you are loved unconditionally and you can have what it is that you want. What I'm getting with the Seven of Cups here is the blessings of opportunity. There are plenty of opportunities out there for you. Plenty of things that you can do, that you can recreate your life and that you can heal in ways that you can heal and recreate your life. But it's about what I'm getting with this, what, it will, what will really close this cycle out for you, the world, earth signs, is about choosing to understand and believe that you are unconditionally loved and accepted for who it is you truly are or what it is you truly want out of life. It's really time for you to let go of this programming to help you weave a better life for yourself, for your existence, so that you can bask in the unconditional love of the universe of source and all that. It really is your choice. It feels like it wasn't a choice in the beginning because of all the things you experienced that helped you weave the web that you find yourself in now. 
But now that you have the awareness, you can accept the, the reality that you do have a choice. And you can choose to weave something better for yourself now that you have this awareness, now that you are gaining this awareness, now that you are gaining this clarity. These doorways don't have to be closed for you. They can be opened. But, that, but opening them requires you stepping out of the web that you, stepping off of the web that you're on right now and choosing to be free and choosing to honor the freedom of others around you as well. Okay, I am being guided to leave it there. So um, thank you for tuning into this reading, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I really, truly hope this was helpful for you. Um, if you feel so inclined, please let me know down in the description box below, or not the description, the, um, the comment section down below how this resonated for you. Uh, I thank you so much for tuning in. God's first creator also thanks you for being open enough to listen to the message that's coming through for you here at this moment and allowing it to resonate within you to generate the healing that you seek. Okay? I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Excellent. Bye.